here is my Twitter page. Uh, and I'll just go through this with you to, and, and sort of explain to you how it was that I specifically used it because there are a few key things here that I do. First of all, um, that's me. There are a number of very amusing websites on, 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 on the internet at the moment, or a long time ago, which were from two or three years ago when MySpace was huge, where they talked about the fat girl on MySpace photograph. And a fat girl in MySpace photograph is a photograph that they take above you. <laughs> because what you, you know, everybody looks better taken from above. I didn't do that deliberately. But actually, you get all these girls, these horror stories of people meeting somebody from MySpace and they look amazing in their photograph. But when they meet them, they look about sort of six or seven stone more than they are in the photograph. So what I have is the photograph that was taken, a PR photograph that was taken for me just after I finished this golf challenge. And I have a sort of a grinning idiot look in it, which is good because I had just finished this challenge and everybody said it was impossible for a long period of time. So it's a genuine, smiley, kind of a personal photograph. In the background is the 71, which is what I was trying to beat. I'm holding a golf club, so it strongly brands what it is that I'm trying to do within this Twitter page. I have three Twitter pages. Never to an extent shall the twain meet, because this is all about my golf challenge. So that's a photograph, it's branded as me, it's not branded as a logo, it's not branded as some sort of a corporate concept, it's branded as me, which is what I'm trying to do within this. Name, now you notice a couple of things, break par golf. I'm using golf within the title of my Twitter name. My name over here, you can use a slightly different, you can use a different name for your name that they list here in comparison with that. I'm also using it as John Richardson Golf. So if you search for golf under people on Twitter, I'm on the first page because very few people actually use the name of what they do within their own individual name. So that gets me much higher rankings if people are searching through Twitter for golf people. I'm also using my name as well, John Richardson, which unfortunately is a relatively common name in sort of internet Google speak. So what you're trying to do is come up with some way that, um, you know, that you can get high up. If you search for John Richardson, there's a comedian in the UK called John Richardson. There are lots of John Richardsons. The, uh, if any of you have ever seen 20 Million Years BC, you know, that Raquel Welch film. The hero in that film is a guy called John Richardson. So, you, you, you know, you, you find there are lots of John Richardsons out there. So I'm looking for ways to try and find my name more searchable within Google. Twitter is very searchable within Google. So therefore, if somebody searches for John Richardson Golf, because maybe they hear me on, on, on the radio or, or something to do with the book, this will be possibly one of the first places that they come to. Then I have a little bit of guff here. Darren Clark and Sam Torrance both said that it was impossible, but I took 33 strokes off in 362 days to finally break par. My book, Dream On, is for sale on Amazon. Now, what I'm trying to do there is not to say, go somewhere else and buy my stuff. That's a credibility thing. I'm using Sam Torrance. I'm using Darren Clark because they did do that. The name of the book is off a line that Sam Torrance said to me. So I'm trying to establish credibility and some actual facts within that. But my little uh, less than subtle yellow arrow comes across here. That is what's known as a squeeze page, that link. This goes against some of kind of the, I haven't talked to Jimmy about this, but within, within Twitter sort of aficionados, there is an argument that you don't send people through to a squeeze page because Twitter should be soft enough that you send them through to a blog page. You're not sending them through to anything more aggressive than that. Uh, I don't do that. that. That may or may not be wrong, but it works for me. So what I'm doing is I'm sending them through to this page. I think we can get this up in the video in a second. But this is a squeeze page. Um, and that what I'm immediately doing is trying to get them off that Twitter environment where I have engaged and hopefully been a good guy and sort of done a few, you know, I do very little selling on Twitter. I did a little bit more when I first started on it. Um, I didn't really get a hard time as a result of it, but you realize you do need to soften. You can't sell aggressively through Twitter. So I'm pushing them through to this page, which is a more aggressive sale, but it's a, it's a sale for their email address. That's all that I'm after here. 